Hey, what's up fam? Thank y'all for tuning in once again. As always, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, hit the notification bell so every time I drop a video, you will be the first to be notified. Hey, today I want to bring a story. I saw this on uh, yahoo.com, but I think it's a Reddit post. And it's about a guy who said he felt blindsided or betrayed because he found out that his wife had a uh, $30,000, had $30,000 saved up in a quote unquote get out fund. Now, I'm going to read through this. I try to look for it on the Reddit, on the website, the, the original uh, website it was on, and it was, and the post was taken down. But it's, as you know, when you put stuff on the internet, it's on there forever. The internet, what I say, internet is undefeated. So, but I, because I didn't really want to read this whole thing, but we're going to skim through it, and I'm, I'm going to tell you my take on it. And you may be surprised, you may not be, but... Let's go through it. Let's see. It gets to come from She Knows, but the, the article's from She Knows, but it's on Yahoo. It said, a husband feels betrayed by his wife's secret $30,000 quote, unquote, get out fund. And it said Reddit has thoughts. Let's say, let's see, scroll down. Let's say, so we'll start with his, we'll start with what he posted. He says, when we got married, we decided to get a joint account that most of our paychecks went into. We pay household and shared expenses from that as well as savings for future stuff like house, car, etc. We also had separate accounts that a percentage of our paycheck went into for us to do our own thing like hobbies, friend trips, etc. The post to work. It worked out pretty well. We made similar money so there wasn't a huge disparity between what we could do for ourselves. Now, he says they have a joint account and a separate account. I believe that truly is necessary. Not for reasons of like hiding money or doing some stuff you ain't got no business or nothing like that. But let's say like so you have a bill, you have an account for bills, and then you have an account or you know, a separate account where you can just do whatever you please with it. You know, it's no problem. As long as bills getting paid, you know, there's no problem, right? So so we agree on that one. You know what I'm saying? I know my, my dad said, uh, you know, the best thing to do when I was young, when I was married the first time. And my dad told me, you know, uh, it's good y'all have, you know, joint, you know, y'all should have separate accounts, you know, for whatever reason, you know, joint account, separate account, you know, one joint account or two, you know, a separate account for each other. But remember that because let me get back to that. He said, he knows that they did make some changes when his wife became a stay-at-home parent for a period of time. Now listen to this, y'all. And at the time, he halved the personal account portion he sent to his solo account and split it with her, and they navigated the tighter finances until she started to work again. So basically, what this did, dude did was, as I'm sure you can probably understand, he's... The little money that he had going to his personal account since his wife was at home, he you know, so he cut that in half, gave that to her, right? No, he had it and you no, know, took cut that in half so they could you know, help pay them bills because she wasn't working. Right? Which means that, but now recall she did have a job before. So whatever money she had saved, she you knows saying whatever money she was being able to put in her own account. You know, she should have something. You should all have something somewhere, somehow, set up for a rainy day. You know, don't don't live above your means, and you can do this. Okay. I say what he didn't realize was that his wife continued to contribute the same amount to the joint account that she did prior to them having kids, despite having been promoted and having pay increases, meaning that there was some money that was unaccounted for in the equation so basically she got a basically she got another job or get, went back to work got a bonus got a raise but they agreed well you know i let him i let him tell it better but she didn't put in what she was supposed to put in she said he said i checked her w-2 in our tax return to make sure that it wasn't a withholding thing because i've been to that you know i've seen where you tell somebody Hey, uh, they're not taking out enough and it's jacking up our taxes. 
and I said, hey, me, I say, look, we need to claim zero and 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 withdraw as like, as like you're single. But you know what I'm saying? Because if not, they're going, you're going to owe at the end of the year. But you can say this and you know, until person, you know, to, to, you know, to, to they blew it, say they blew in the face. Sometimes people just don't care. They got their reasons. You know, but anyway, she said, I checked the W-2. So was, my first instinct was a payroll error, error. I went to her and asked to see solo account contributions per the poster. She started getting very defensive, which set my alarm bells off. So again, this lets you know that this woman, I mean, right here, you see she's not to be trusted. You know what I'm saying? They came up with a plan in the beginning. They agreed to it, but now that she got a little extra money, so you know what makes me think? What making me think is, with her first job, she wasn't making a whole lot of money. Well, he said it was it was close, but you know, with the first job, he said what they was making was close to each other. Okay, and they probably had you know the bills to be you know paid and stuff like that. But now she got this new job, and now she got a lot of extra money. In her account, so now she want to act funny with the money, which is something that they would do. I told her I know how much she should be getting in each paycheck, and if it's not going to our joint account and her solo account, then either her employer see, so he believed it wasn't going to her solo account. He said either her employer is underpaying her or she's hiding money from me. Whatever it was, I wasn't going to ignore it or forget about it. And then it came out that she had been adding the additional funds to a separate secret solo account ever since she got back to work, which she later told him was a get out fund that her friend encouraged her to build up after going through a bad breakup. Story time. Years ago, I was in a relationship. I was young, young, very young. And went through the same thing. But I was working. She what? I was working full time, overtime. She worked just a few hours a week, if that. But I let her, you know, trying to be like, you know, people I see on TV and people that talk about me, you know, my daddy, make all the money, you know what I'm saying? Make a paycheck and give it to my mom. And let her handle the bills. You know, so, you know, let her handle the bills and paychecks. So I said, you know, I'm going to do the quote unquote manly thing and let her handle the bills. Bills got paid, but then, you know, I, you know, again, young, but it's like, Hey, you know, you ask, say, man, like I want to get, let's say a CD or I want to buy a pair of shoes or something like that. And you get these answers of, we ain't got it. We ain't got it. So I'm like, Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe she's buying stuff, you know, groceries or some things that we need things around the house. Okay. That's fine. But then one day we get into an argument, a disagreement, yeah, argument, and uh, it came out. It was, about, it was about money, and it came out and said, "She said that's why I got such and such amount of money saved up." And I'm like, "How you got that much money saved up? You're not even working. What do you mean you got that much money saved up? Now, mind you, I had no money. You see what I'm saying? I mean, we had the money going to the bank account." But in the account, there was like very little to nothing, enough, enough to live. But yet, somehow you got so much amount of money, hundreds, you know, maybe in the thousands, in the bank, and you're not even working. How is that possible? How, how is this possible? And it and came out that she said that someone in her family told her because of what the relationship that hurt, that, that what her family member had had went through or was going through the time or whatever but had been going through she told her that she need to get an account just in case something happened and we break up and we break up she has nothing and what pissed me off was because i was like what in the heck did i do in a relationship to make you think that i'm trying to leave you that i was doing that something was going bad to where we might break up i didn't see nothing i, I didn't understand it our relationship was compared to this other person, so what do you mean? So that right there started a snowball effect, and that's when the separate accounts came. I mean, still was the 
I said, you know what? Well, you know what? You and that person can have an account. Y'all can open up a bank account together. Y'all can deal with that because I'm done. You know what I'm saying? No, we ain't finna do this. So accounts got separated or what have you at that time, but that was because of somebody else. So I understand. So when I read this, I feel exactly where his frustrations are. Like, seriously. Saying he felt, quote, unquote, quote, unquote, blindsided by the revelation as he thought they had a fair agreement about what funds would go toward shared household goals versus personal funds. He asked Reddit whether he was the AH, you know, that the H hole in the situation for asking her to move her secret funds to the joint account. His wife, he said, felt that, that him asking that that was that was why she felt she needed to account needed the account in the first place. But you had an agreement. This is what I understand about it. He's asking because you mess with the agreement. It's like, you know how they say you can speak something into existence? See, she created the account because a friend of hers told her you need to do it because just in case y'all break up, you need to have the money saved up. But then he didn't say anything about, you know, he didn't do anything. He felt like we all do. Relationship was fine. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to Michael B. Jordan. That the relationship was fine. And all of a sudden, you know, you get blindsided by something, but because somebody else on the outside that influenced your woman to do something to go against everything that y'all agreed upon, spoke about, and supposedly believed in. So now she had, and see how she flipped it to say, that's why I had to have an account. See, just cause you asking, that's why I'm, that's why I knew it. That's, that's why I'm justified to having to do it. No, that was not the agreement. But see, like I say, she flipped it, trying to make it seem like it was his fault. So now he done got on here asking if he's in the wrong. Not them know you're not in the wrong. You're not in the wrong at all about how you feel because she's in the wrong for doing this. No, she's not in the wrong for saving up money. And like I said, I, I, let, me, let me finish this up a little bit. He said, he continued, our agreement was that X percentage of our paychecks what the, would go to our personal accounts, which means a percentage, not a dollar amount, a percentage. So if you're making a thousand dollars a week and y'all only putting ten percent, that's a hundred dollars. If you're making a hundred dollars a week and it's ten percent, that's ten dollars. No matter what, a percentage of your check is going to the joint account, and y'all got access to the joint account, and he knows how much money you are making. He said, uh, go, uh, my wife is still sending X percentage of a paycheck to a personal account. Then she's sending Y percent to her secret account. So she has only been funding our joint account at 100 minus X minus Y percent. This is why I'm asking her to turn over her secret fund. It is made from joint account funds. True. So basically you steal it. So it's like if you got a job, it's like you, it's like you're going to work every day. And you stealing from your job. If you stealing paper clips, coffee, you know, coffee filters and taking them home, or you work or you clocked in and you ain't working, you stealing from the job. But that's that's grounds for termination. Just remember, hey, Red Summer said 41% of divorces of baby boomers, and I think 29% of divorces of what is it, Gen X? in well uh, ha uh divorces happen due to finance due to finances disagreement arguments can't agree on finances so they don't with each other that's a large percentage 41 percent and 20 29 percent hey yeah. they say most of the redditor redditors in the thread agreed to have independent funds isn't the problem so much as the secrecy an omission as financial circumstances have changed and made one partner con contributing a larger percent of income for years without knowing about it. So the thing about it is, let's say she had a problem with it. Let's say she had a big raise and a big bonus. And she probably may, and she may have felt that it was unfair that she was putting so much in. Cause you know, his percentage might be like I said, let's say he was putting in with his percentage when they were in the beginning, they were putting in Let's just say like a hundred dollars a week, both of them, each. But then she got a raise, a big raise. I guess he didn't. He didn't say if he ever got a raise or not. But let's say he did. But now she didn't got a raise and a bonus. So now she's putting in 150 a week. 
you know, towards the bills, then she might be feeling like it's not fair, which is fine. You can feel how you want to. But the problem is you got to get out there and yeah, you y'all got to discuss it. You just can't say, hey, you just can't say to yourself, you know what? I think I'm paying too much. You no, know, I'm paying too much. He ain't, he only paying this much and I'm paying that much. I'm just going to keep my money to the side because because Becky over here said that I should save money anyway. You know, give a justification for doing it because, you know, we might break up. Why y'all might break up? Because it's finding you hiding money. That's why. And you went against the contract. That's what this woman is not getting, which, but I think she gets it, but you know how they do. People try to justify doing something wrong. And that's where the problem is. And that's where she's completely wrong. There is nothing wrong with having separate accounts. But the way she's doing it, like I said, these are grounds for being terminated from a job. It's a yeah, NTA. It's okay to have a get out fund, but that should be composed of funds that she set aside from the amount slash percentage that you each agreed to keep for your personal account. If you agree to 80% goes to the joint account and you keep 20%, then her get out fund should be from that 20%. To contribute less than the agreed upon 80% to the joint account is crappy and just makes her the AH in this situation. And that is like, I mean, that's it in a nutshell. I say she's hiding money and she's paying less than what she agreed to pay. And so now, but now she want to seem like, act like, you know, so that he's a bad guy because he checked on her. He called her and he checked on her. She's not to be trusted with money no more. It's simple as that. Yeah, you need to get, you need to tell her to turn over, or you need to tell her to turn over the money that was supposed to have went to the joint account. Because here's my thing, it ain't like the bills went up. So like I say, if she had, I mean, I, don't, I ain't gonna say it ain't, but I mean, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna assume that the bills didn't go up too much if they have a set for inflation. So, like I say, if she feels some type of way about it, then she need to have a discussion with her. But you notice nowhere in his commentary, I mean, in his story, did he say, "Hey, that." It came up. Nowhere did it come up to where they talked about when she wasn't working and he was using part of his money to pay those bills. Part of his private account, you know, solo account to pay bills in the house because she wasn't working. Now, she might have did it because, you know, she got, you know, had kids which is understandable. Okay, you know, she can't make the money because she stay at home. Okay, fine. And people, you know, they try to say that, you know, staying at home is a, is a job. You know, watching kids is a job. Okay. Raising kids, I mean, is a job. Okay, that's fine. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna make sure I pay the bills, you know, take them half of the money out of the solo account and pay for them bills. So this dude to me seems like he's good with saving money because you think about it, if they, Put so much money into it. Think about it, so like this: you put so much money into it, to where when she got when, when when she stopped working, they still had enough money to pay bills. Plus, he put money with his increase to the bill bill payment account. They was able to survive until she went back to work. So this man is good with money, like real good with money, and she just crapped on him like she didn't care. She got selfish. Listen to her friends who had bad relationships. Who probably, this, which is probably this is the reason why they had bad relationships because dude probably couldn't trust them because they sit there and make these little dumb dumbass suggestions. Anyway, that's all I got on this story, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Is he right? Is he wrong? Man, you know you ain't got to answer that because we know he he's right and she's in the wrong. Period. There's no two ways about it. But you can leave your comments below and then share the story to the world. And with that being said, I leave you in peace and I'll see you on the other side.